Hello everyone, this is Hunter. Today I'm going to talk about the recipe. This function is used for input some parameters in advance at table. When we need it, we can directly read from the table and write to the PLC or somewhere. So let me give you an example of package machine. This machine have some kind of parameters like the cutting length. So when we want to change this length, we can read this parameter from the table and write to the PLC. So when the parameters are too many, we can use this table to change it the different recipe it, it, it will be more convenient so following let me introduce how to set the P recipe in PI Studio so we can see this recipe is in this table so in this area so we can click it and if we want to new one we can click this add the first step, we need to name the recipe. For example, my name is recipe1. So, uh, the name, we need to input this group number and element number. So, for example, I input four group and two elements and click apply. So we can see this table change into the four columns and the two rows. And then we need to set this data format. We can change in here or, or here. Then we need to set this function address. This function address is used for doing different operation for the table and then input this address for group ID so I input the 100 for group and this is the star address for specific element content so I input 0 HW0 here and when we finish it, we can click this save and insist. So we can see it add one row to this list and click close. So this recipe table about the screen part, we can find this recipe table in here. This is the recipe table we used. Then we will want to change in a different recipe. We we can select in here. So this is the recipe I just set. And click OK. Run compile and run it as simulator. So we can see it just two elements in the group. So if we want to use different elements, we need to remember to set the parameter here. save and assist so I compile again and run as open line simulator and we can see it. the parameter is all changed now so we change back to the 
the formal formal setting compile and run it again so when we need one need to read them and we can click this function address and we can see it read from the table so we can use this this is mnemonic inputs to or squeak to to write write to the PLC so this is the many function of simple recipe another recipe is this advanced recipe so we can select different mode in here to change in, in, into the advanced one so the main differences between these two modes is that the simple recipe we just able to manage one single file but for advanced one, we can manage multiple files at the same time. So, how we manage multiple files is use this file file address. This is it to indicate indicate the the file name we select. So when we want to manage another one recipe file so we can change the value of this file name so after we the only setting is done we can click this safety assist and compile to run, run it so as we can see this recipe file we just have one so I for example I input 2 and change, change it as 33 and for example I change this file and I can copy it and past so we have two recipe file now so I we I can input some parameters so we, as we can see the now the two recipe file is different so if I change back to the recipe one we can see the table is all also changed So if I want to read the recipe, for example, for group, and click read, and we can read from the table. So another other settings are all similar to the simple recipe. This is all the kind of about the advanced one. The last part is about the CSV file. So for our PIHMI, we can input the CSV file into the recipe table. So if I want to input the re recipe, sorry, CSV re recipe, I can select the different storage path, path storage path and uh, 
for example, the S USB or SD card to find this file and import it and then we can see it read to the table so in our demo we have this file so re remember the recipe file it, it's recipe setting must corresponding to the project of HMI otherwise it cannot be able to input into the, this table so in our demo we have this example file we can use so if you are not able to input your CSV file you can you can open it as text format and check, check the format why it the differences between these two formats and change, change your CSV file and then you will be successfully input your CSV so uh, this is our uh, only content I present today thanks for your watching see you see you next time